And so Salisbury City welcome Woking to the Raymark for this Blue Square South game between the two sides. Both sides have been suffering very different fortunes of recent times. We're working 14 points clear at the top of the Blue Square Bet South and Salisbury languishing down at 17th and, and seem to be in free fall. Free fall since the 0-0 draw at Woking in October where they were challenging for the playoffs. From last week's team, there are five changes in today's side with Puddy, Giles, Stuart Sinclair, Marvin Williams and Robbie Matthews all coming into the side. For, um, on the bench, we've got Jake Reed and the two new signings, Matthew Clark and Abdullahi Belbaggy, who was signed during the week. They can make three changes to their side with Duncan, Sester and McNerney coming in after their 3-2 win at Bromley in which McNerney came on as a substitute and scored a late equaliser. And it's Sester with the ball in. Giles heads it, but it's only as far as the man at the back post. His shot was sliced over the top of the bar. <laughs> it's a, it was a, looks a decent flick from Robbie Matthews, and he's managed to force a miss kick. And Stuart Sinclair can try and get the ball across, and it's come back to him. It's a poor clearance, and he has a shot. And Alan Inns managed to get his head in the way, and it'll be a Salisbury corner, and it was a bright attack for the Whites. Big men are up again once more for Salisbury, and it, the ball is whipped in. And Giles tries to get the header in. He's falling away from goal, and it goes wide. I think I did say this morning when I walked out my house, I hope we do play the ball on the floor this morning. And it's Lasasso on the edge of the box, and there's a shot, and the keeper easily gets down and holds it and bowls it out now to Woking on their right hand side there's a poor header it's Robbie Matthews through on goal and he tries to take past the keeper and it's a foul by the keeper Robbie Matthews who's through on goal and he's the last man and he's off Aaron Howe is off for Woking Robbie Matthews played it past him it was an open goal there was no one past the keeper and he got brought him down, and it'll be a penalty to Salisbury, and Woking are down to 10 men here. 28 minutes gone at the Ray Mack, and gone, Salisbury have a Woking. chance to take so the lead against Salisbury. first place Woking. And, have a and Robbie Matthews has a chance here to put Salisbury ahead against Woking, against the sub-keeper, Andrew Little. It's Robbie Matthews, up he steps, and it's saved! It's saved by the sub-keeper. Robbie Matthews has missed a penalty, it was a chance for Salisbury to take the lead and they have squandered that opportunity. Only run it back for the Whites. Everyone else is forward. It's in towards the box and Danny Webb almost in there. But Andrew Little got in the block there and he's done well since he's come on. And Lasasso will take the throw in quickly from Salisbury. There's a wall of five in front of him. He takes it. It's towards the bottom corner but it's snuck wide of the post. There was a sight for Lasasso there. It's a throw in to Woking and it's a bit of pressure now for Woking as Ruddick will try and block the cross and Puddy doesn't get to the cross. Shaky moment as Danny Webb trying to get it clear and Salisbury not quite coping there. There's a ball over the top, Puddy will come for it and gets there. It's throw in taken but there's no pressure on Ruddick there as he manages to put his foot on it and look forward and Williams there's a ball towards Stuart Sinclair and it's in towards Rory Matthews who has a go. It's a good save by the keeper. Rory Matthews had a chance there. It was a good header by Stuart Sinclair into the path and Rory Matthews on the turn and it's another good save by Andrew Little who has proved quite a hero since coming on. Maybe Ruddick looking inside now. He's got Clark on his right. It's back to Ruddick's ball in. It's headed clear but it's Blown back into the area and Lasasso's touch skips away from him. And it's another high. There's no point playing it high for Woking now because it just keeps coming back at them. And Dunk sees the foul. It's a silly cha challenge in midfield and it, he will pick up a booking for the challenge. 30 seconds left in this first half. Salisbury will have one last attack by the looks of it and it's played by Ruddick towards Lasasso. Lasasso beats his man and he'll get the cross in towards Robbie Matthews in the back post. He gets ahead and it's in! Robbie Matthews makes up for his missed penalty. It was a good cross. It's right on the stroke of half-time. Lasasso's ball in towards Robbie Matthews 
at the back post who leaps up and gets the header past Andrew Little, the sub-keeper in the working goal. It's 1-0 Salisbury right on the stroke of half-time. Matthews will look forward and Clark will play it again to Matthews. There's men in the box, Williams and Lasasso there. The ball towards Williams and Williams managed to leap up. It's a weak header and Little can collect easily. It's headed a bit by Dutton but only as far as the edge of the box and it's King and surely that's a handball. The referee hasn't given it. It's, it was brought under control. It looked like the forearm. And there'll be a chance for the ball to come in. It's one towards the box and Danny Webb's got a turn to the head. It's another penalty! And Giles wins the penalty, it's another one. It's a power foul inside the box. Giles goes down. The referee was immediately pointing to the spot. And Salisbury missed the first one. And they've got a chance to score the second one. And it looks like Dutton wants it. Andrew Little in front of the home fans. 60 minutes gone. Dutton steps up. And it's in. 2-0 Salisbury. Dutton, there's no problem. He's sliding it away. It's 2-0 Salisbury against league leaders working. And could this be a vital three points for Salisbury? They're playing well. 30 minutes left here for Salisbury. And they'll need to switch on for this last half hour and make sure they shut Woking out. He's gonna, he's out gonna go. It's a different shot and it's bounced in front of the keeper and it was bounced up to a decent height for the keeper. And it's a ball whipped in. It's a good ball. It's to, it's, no, it's not dealt with and it's come out to King and it's well blocked by Danny Webb there. And Lasasso will chase out. And so Woking looking to get the ball into the box. Four minutes to go here. It's a shot from Murta and Puddy does well. It might have been creeping in the bottom corner. We will never know. And Puddy just makes sure, collects the ball, and Salisbury can look forward now. They deserve their two goal advantage. They've got, admittedly, they've had a two man advantage for much of this second half. And there's three men stood over it. And it'll be Adelsbury to shoot. Adelsbury finds it. And Robbie Matthews in there. And he can't quite poke it in. He has. Brett had a very good game today, as have most of the Salisbury players who have been out on the pitch today. And that is full time. Salisbury win 2 0. Not many teams will beat this Woking side this season. Okay. This is um, the third match needed in three points. Big seven, seven games. For Salisbury. And Salisbury they come away take four with points off the lead. Much needed three season. points. Mikey, do you think Woking expected that result today? Um, I don't think they did, no. I'm sure they've been going into this game very, very confident. They're on a great run. I think they were they were way clear of the top of the league. So absolutely delighted to get the win. But we're not going to get too carried away. It's important that we use that as a platform and that we take it into Tuesday's game against Eastleigh. I was quite surprised they didn't start with Elvis Hammond today because he's their top scorer. But he's, I don't think they've ever done an awful lot against us. Could that have been a factor, do you think? I'm not really sure. I mean, they're like I say they're top of the league and they probably came here maybe made a few changes to the side but I thought it was all about us today the way we started the game the tempo and the way we pressed them high and up the pitch and won the ball back and then we, we showed glimpses of what we can do with, with the new players we've got in the squad and, and only glimpses there's, there's lots of work to be done like I said we're not going to get carried away but it is a great platform to build on and it's you know, it's great to beat top of the league and we've taken four points off them this season. I'm not sure there'll be many teams in this league that do that, so over the moon. You can see where players uh, maybe haven't played um, you know, for some time uh, and they're getting fit. Charlie De Sasso's one, for example. Charlie, yeah, Charlie hasn't played in, in, you know, he's only played, what, three games in six months. Um, also Matt Clark, that was his first game in six months today. So these, these are guys who have not played a lot of football, so they'll get better with, with games. Luke Ruddock, second game in you know, a number of months, so his, his comeback's going well. So we're building and we're gradually getting to where we want to be. But like I said, we'll keep working hard. We've got 19 games left, I believe, this season now, and we want to win as many as we can. You left out Robbie Matthews on that list as well because we were just talking to him because yep. he joined the club. First game he can't play. Second game is postponed. Yep. And he, told, he said to me, he said, that happened to me last time when I was here on loan. So, uh, you know, when these players get... There is a phrase, match fit. Yep. There's no doubt about it. 
we've got ahead of a squad there haven't we yeah and uh, like I said Rob, you're right Robbie's another one to add to the list and when you look at the the bench that today we've got the likes of Dan Fitch it hasn't even come on he's our you know he's our top scorer but I th we felt he needed a rest Ben Adelsbury as well on the bench and then uh, you know you've got Abs as well to come into that reckoning who, who is a very exciting young player I think the fans he'll be he'll be one the fans will enjoy watching over the over the coming months so it's all all very positive at the moment but it's important that we we show some consistency for the second half of the season you know we've had some good results this year and then not always backed it up with another good result so it's important that we we take although we want to take each game as it comes we have to put a little bit of a run together and and get some results in I don't like to keep the interviews too serious. It, it means that a certain player called Harris goes down the pecking order, doesn't he? Doesn't yeah, definitely. Bench. Unfortunately, I don't make the squad these days. So, um, but no, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. To be honest, I'm not really. I thought I was going to have to go on. Uh, I think last game when uh, when I was the last sort of fit outfield player, and I was panicking a little bit. But um, no, it's 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 good to have a, a big squad and, and selection headaches for the gaffer. Uh, that's what that's what we want, and hopefully we can we can build on this win and and put a bit of run together and get ourselves up that league where we belong we'd take the gloss off of this today if we didn't carry the form into Tuesday easily wouldn't it yeah, exactly that's 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 my, that's my entire point we, we've got to kick on and we've got to go and give Eastleigh a good game because they're they're on the they're a team on the up as well and obviously it's a local derby the rivalry between the two clubs is is well known it's uh I, I'm quite happy because it's a bit of a home game for me it's just around the corner from my house so um but hopefully we can go there and, and pick up three points and and kick on again and what better way to go after a win like today Exactly. Being cheers. top of the league, don't make much better than that, does it? Okay, cheers. Thanks, Alec. Okay, cheers. I've got the Robbie Sinclair clone in front of <laughs> today. You look like him, you play like him. Well done. Cheers, thank There's you. nothing wrong with that at no, all. No, no, no. So, uh, what made you come back here? Uh, I just, when I spoke to the gaffer, um, I was obviously impressed in the FA Cup. And uh, he just said, do you want to come down? We, get, we need a bit more energy, a bit more experience. And, and that was it. And then I thought, well, I spoke to Robbie. Robbie said the staff, the back room, everyone's excellent. Um, and I thought, do you know what? Why not take a chance? I've played non-league for seven odd years now when I come out of um, a scholarship. And um, I've built a business. And I thought, well, it's about time. And I thought, oh, I can play at a higher level again now. So, yeah. So I just took it. Yeah, well, when you played for RC that day, I, I, was, I was impressed like everybody thank else you, was. Thank you. And I thought, the San Jose was going to score against us. But you, said, <laughs> <laughs> you play like Robbie, so much like Robbie. Well, we, we, well, we're the same family, aren't we? So I suppose you get the same traits. I'd, I'd like to think that I've got a little bit more um, energy. Uh, he's probably slightly more creative than me, but I'll try. I'll try. I'll get around the pitch maybe a little bit more. And I'm definitely... Um, less injury prone <laughs> for 100% that's sure that is uh, I think you better tell him to log on to the White's TV website after this <laughs> interview because you're going to be very popular at home <laughs> so obviously you enjoyed the game today yeah um, yeah, massive 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 win um, I come in and I thought I'd, I'd, I'd come in um, for training and stuff like that and I thought the level from, from the level that i just come from the training's excellent, everything's excellent, the back room's excellent, everything's superb. And I couldn't fathom why where we are in the league. But then that just goes to show now what we can do. And hopefully that, that carries on. Yeah, a lot of it is cup runs, isn't it? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, adds extra games, doesn't it? But now, like you say, three of the cup. Cup's excellent, done excellent runs, three of the cup. And we've got a couple of games in hand as well, if you remember. So that, if, we, if we can win the games in hand, that's just going to catapult us up the league. They say every game's tough. We've got a very tough run of fixtures, which started today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep that form into Eastleigh Way on Tuesday and then Dover on the weekend. Yep. Uh, they're they're, they're tough games, aren't they? Really tough. It, like you say, though, every single game's a tough game. If you don't prepare properly and you don't turn up, then every game's going to be a tough game. Um, and that just goes to show that Woking probably come here a little bit displacent, uh, thinking, mm, uh, we'll roll them over, and there you go. We've taken four points off in this Yeah, season. he's done well, yeah. He's no, with his draw many, as well, yeah. He's not many teams to do that. No, not many at all. I think we better finish this because I've done well so far not to call you Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, give him all, all, all the best for us. Thank you, thank you very much. Well done today. Cheers, thank you, thank you.